Hey, what's going on guys? Ryan here. Today we're going to be talking about my portfolio and how much I have invested, what I'm invested in, and how much is in each of the investments I have. But first, if you are new to the channel, this channel is about building your portfolio and your investments and basically how to grow your wealth and become a wealth giant. Uh, so my portfolio is very small right now and I'm growing it very fast uh, on a $33,000 a year salary. By next year, I'll have about $10,000 by February. I will have $25,000 by fe February of 2021. And if you're interested in seeing that kind of stuff, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below and smashing that like button if you find anything valuable in this video. Uh, and please feel free to leave a comment down below asking me anything you would like about what I'm doing, any questions you might have. I have about three years of knowledge in the stock market. I've been trading for about two years now. So, you know, it's going to be great. All right. So let's go ahead and look into my portfolio right here. You can see in the top left hand corner, uh, I have blotted out my name. Obviously, I don't want you guys seeing that because uh, it's the obvious. The number beneath it is how much I have invested, which is $4,651.31. $103.28 is cash. So as I said, I'm really starting out small. And by February of next year, I'll hit the five figure mark and I have a solid plan, I'm gonna hit it. There's no doubt in my mind about it. So the first investment I have here is Tesla. I have about eight shares in Tesla. I bought them all at around $2,032.15 total. My cost basis is $254, and my price currently is $328.13. I'm up 29%, woo, time to sell, no definitely not selling. Uh, I like my Tesla shares. I expect them to go up a lot more into the future. Uh, let me just explain. I don't want to go into too much detail about each stock because that would make this video super long and I don't want to do that to you guys. Uh, I'll do a video on each of the investments I have with further detail of why I'm invested in them and that will you know, hopefully spike your interest. So why am I invested in Tesla? First of all, they are changing a lot of things in a lot of industries, okay? They are answering a lot of questions, a lot of concerns in society about carbon footprints and all that other great stuff. Uh, so that's one of the main reasons why I like them. They're, they're solving problems. They're creating amazing products. I mean, I don't know if any of you have actually seen a Tesla or been inside a Tesla. Uh, I had the opportunity to sit down in the driver's seat of somebody, ran, some random stranger. I sat down in their car and I was like, this is beautiful. I like the roof. You know, it was really, really cool. So if you haven't ever seen a Tesla, check it out. Um, they're just an amazing company. Their earnings smashed it this last quarter and, you know, they're, they're just doing a phenomenal job. Uh, congratulations, Elon and Tesla and all that great stuff. Uber is my next investment. All right, I have 35 shares in them at $1,065.70 of my own money is in it. It's up about 7.43%. So I am up about $79 and I bought them for about $30.45 a share. So why am I invested in Uber? It's kind of similar to Tesla, but on a different level, it's more of they are disrupting industries. They're getting into the taxi. They're in the taxi service. They're getting into the delivery service. They're getting into the freight delivery service. They're trying to change up the game so that people have more independence of their work. They're creating jobs for people who want more independence. And that's an amazing thing. Uh, obviously, they're not doing so hot right now with their IPO. I mean, they've definitely dropped in value. Uh, they're not profitable currently, which is problems, but you know, I don't really see that as an issue as long as I can see them becoming profitable in the future, which I do. Uh, why am I going for Uber instead of Lyft? Well, you know, Lyft is just tiny. I mean, they got a lot of good people saying good things about them. But when I look at a company, I'm looking at the numbers and Uber just has a superior number compared to Lyft. On top of that, I kind of compare it to Walmart and Kmart. They were the same kind of company, just Walmart had more money. They had more abilities. Um, you know, Uber is also going to the autonomous taxi service and just like Tesla plans on doing in the next couple of years. 
You know, there's so many different things that they have. There's so many different possibilities and they're just sinking their teeth into everything, which is phenomenal. So that's Uber. Hey, before we get into company number three, I just want you to be aware that the numbers have changed slightly. When I was editing this uh, video, I accidentally deleted the snapshot of my portfolio that I was using. And since then the market has opened and therefore all the numbers have altered slightly, but they're so close that I'm not gonna uh, change the first two and I'll just alter the numbers that I say in my video with the new image of the market that I've just taken. So let us continue. So number three I have is Fiat and Chrysler, another, another automotive company. I have 30 shares, bought them all for about $451, bought them about $15.04 a share. $13.23 is the price as of right now. So I'm obviously down about 12%, but if you could look to the far right of that stock, you could see that it offers a 5.5% dividend. Fiat and Chrysler, they have a lot of issues going on right now in Italy. The economy is kind of not doing so great. On top of that, uh, they have a lawsuit going on about their carbon emissions and stuff like that, that they lied about. Anyways, uh, there's more details about it, but as I said, I don't want to go into too much detail about e any of the stocks because this is more about what I have invested in and how much I have invested in each company. Um, but the, the dividends make up for it dropping in price, which is really nice. I get a little bit of that money back that I can invest in other companies. Uh, I bought into it because they have uh, multiple brands under them and they're just a nice company. They got Fiat, they got Chrysler, they got Jeep, they got Ram, they got a few others. A lot of good brands out there for Fiat. So number four is my problem child, which is Neo. Now, this is definitely the position I'm down the furthest in. I have 72 shares. I started out with 50 and recently bought 22 shares to lower my cost basis, which is now $3.32 a share. So yeah, I'm down about 55.7%. As you can see to the far right, uh, about $130. I didn't put much money into it. Obviously, $239 isn't that much. I can, if I sold right now, I could probably get $108 back. I don't plan on selling it for a little bit. I'm hoping to get it up to at least $2 a share. And why did I invest in Neo? Well, this is a mistake that people make when they don't do their research. Do your research because if you don't, you're going to end up with something happening like this, which you won't like. Um, you know, Neo, it's having a lot of problems. There's a lot of good things about them. I've read their, you know, their reports and stuff. They have a lot of good things uh, in store. They're just not performing at the level that I would prefer them to. And that's why I don't like it so much. But anyways, enough about Neo. Let's go into my fifth and final investment, which is BioLife Solutions. You're probably thinking to yourself right now, what the heck is that? So right now I have about 16 shares in the company, bought them all for about $197. Obviously I'm doing pretty good if it's currently valued at $281 for all those shares. I bought them all for about $12.33 a share. They're currently valued at $17.57 a share. So I'm up about 42.45%, which is really good. All right, so I bought this company. This was one of the first companies I invested in. It's a small market cap company. Uh, they are a medical slash bio research company that provides devices and instruments to perform cryogenic stuff. Uh, I don't know how best to explain it to you guys without making you guys go, what's going on? Uh, so it's a good company. I don't have, encourage investing into companies that you don't understand. So remember, don't invest in any of these companies just because you see me investing, okay? It's not a smart idea. You gotta do your own research. Right now, I would say that BioLife Solutions is starting to get to that point where I wanna sell out just because they're starting to get to that price point where I'm like, hey, you guys are getting a little too expensive. Anyways, that's my portfolio. I hope you liked it. Obviously, there are a few mistakes that you might say, why is your portfolio looking this way? Why is it oversaturated in automotives? And obviously Tesla holds a huge portion, over 50% of my portfolio. I do plan on making a video about mistakes in my portfolio and what mistakes to avoid. And I'll also explain why I'm invested this way currently. 
Now, by February of next year, when I hit the five-figure mark of $10,000, I plan on having it a lot more balanced out and a lot more cash uh, equivalents in my portfolio. That way, it is a lot more balanced, and that way you could be like, oh, okay, this makes a lot more sense to have it this way. Anyways, that's what I got for you guys today. I hope you liked it. As I said, leave a comment if you find something wrong with it. I mean, I do plan on making that video, but if you can find something and leave that list of things for me to look at, maybe you guys might add something that I haven't already thought about, which will help in my next video. But anyways, that's all I got. If you like this video, smash that like button. And if you want to, please consider subscribing by hitting that ugly mug over to my right. It looks like this. Anyways, have a good day.